My name is Brooke Rabatou. I'm 11 years old and I'm in Rodiar, Spain right now, which is the awesomest place ever. And um, my mom has won four World Cups in a row and my dad has won, I don't know, a couple too. And my mom always climbs with me and my brother is a very, very good climber and I love climbing with him. Um, I climb because it's, I don't know, it's just a fun sport. All of my family does it and I've just become so interested in it. It's like my whole life. Without climbing, I wouldn't be living. <laughs> well, I did an 8B in, when I was nine years old in the Red River Gorge and that, it didn't feel too, too hard to me because I don't know, it was like the first time I'd really tried a route kind of that hard. And then um, about a year later, I did um, an 8B plus in also the Red River Gorge. And that was a little bigger of a step, but it re the route fit me ki pretty well. And I just, I don't know, it was just my style. And then um, I just did an 8C here in Rodiar, Spain. And that was much, much harder than the other routes that I've done because I don't know. It's just, it's so hard to get up to the last move, and then the last move, it takes everything out of me. It's just impressive. Um, my favorite climbing style is bouldering and rope climbing. I can't decide. I just love them both. That's why I do them h half and half. I also like to climb trees a lot because there's always like a branch to hang on and a branch to play with and something to hang on. me it's harder because I'm shorter than most people and so they're taller so it's easier to do some moves. A lot of people ask me how I can do the big moves on climbs and it's just that they're big moves but I can work them to figure out the best way for me and sometimes it's still a big move and I just have to jump for it but sometimes I can find uh, smaller holds to help me. My best things that I have in climbing are probably I really like crimps and then I'll, I also, I guess, have a pretty good mind. And um, I, I can stay on the wall for quite a long time. And also, I'm pretty flexible because I used to do gymnastics. And then some of the bad things that, uh, um, that I have are slopers. I, I, I'm pretty good at them, but I'm not the best. And um, big moves because I'm so small. <laughs> Um, sometimes I can get scared when I fall because it's so high and I don't want to hit the wall or something, but usually I just climb my best and try to get as far as I can. I love climbing with my family because my mom has so much experience. It's just great because she knows everything and my brother, he finds the roots that are good for me and he knows everything that I can do. Uh, sometimes I kind of get angry at my family when I'm climbing with them because they always are like, no, you can't do that move. And I'm like, well, maybe I can. How do you know? And then they always just tell me to come down or something. And I'm like, no, I want to try it. <laughs> I have my own ideas of what I want to do. And sometimes my family doesn't always know what I like to do because maybe I'm different than them. And I like to try routes that are maybe hard, harder for me and maybe bit, uh, lots of big moves just to see how that they are. My family usually isn't afraid of what I do, but unless it's really dangerous, but then I don't do it. <laughs> I learned almost like everything about climbing from my mom because she has so much experience and she's been doing it for like ever. Um, all of my family inspires me to climb definitely because I see them every day and they're just so good, but also I really look up to Sasha Dejillion and um, Alex Puccio, Chris Sharma, and Adam Andra, but I don't, I've never, I don't see them climb too, too often. I usually always want to climb unless like my skin is dead and I'm just uh, super tired, and when that happens I just don't climb. But usually I love climbing like every single day almost. <laughs> um, I usually train about three hours each um, day.
but not not ev necessarily every single day in the week, but about four or five days a week. I also really, really like competition because it's like new routes to try and it's like you get to fly all over the world to do competitions and you just, you get to compete with your friends and I love that part because you can, um, after like the competition's over, you can talk about how you did and like how it went and everything and it's just so much fun with everybody cheering you in the background and it's just amazing. <laughs> I don't exactly know what I want to be in the future, but I do know that I want to keep climbing a lot like my mom, and I also want to be a trainer and teach little kids how to climb. I also have some other sports that I like to do. I like to do basketball just for fun. I'm not very good at it. I also like running short distances, and then swimming with my friends and laughing and playing, <laughs> listening like to music. Sometimes I like dancing. And then I also, when it's a good book, I like to read. Uh, when I tell my teachers and my classmates what I've done, they don't exactly understand because they're not like climbers. They're, they're just like, oh, cool. I don't even know what that is. But they're like happy for me, but they still like, they don't get what it actually is. So it's much, much different for them.